Ladies and gentlemen, Henry Confidential here on There Will Be Trivia. This is the second tournament of Total Recall, which, just a reminder, no preparation needed. So it's kind of one of the few leagues, quote-unquote, that's no prep necessary. So no pressure, but also, as you noticed in the first tournament, people in the first two tournaments, technically, or I guess it's the third total tournament, second Total Recall. You guys know. You guys caught up. But anyway, no pressure, but a lot of people do kind of take it seriously so this one actually has 32 players so it's going to be a lot of in very interesting to see how that pans out and this is the very first matchup we have scott harvey and kevin moreno i'm pretty familiar with scott harvey as i watch pretty much all the leagues all across and i'm not familiar with kevin so this could be a wild card i don't know specifically if anyone in the comments might know anything about him but i don't and i don't know if scott does but we'll go ahead and see what they have to say real quick just a little introduction and you know see how they feel about there will be trivia Hey guys, uh, happy to be here uh, in another new league. Uh, just you know, trying this out for for some fun. No prep. Um, that's definitely an attractive element of of this for me. Um, I've had to heavily prep um, for several matches recently, and you know, there's nothing worse um, than heavily prepping for a match and then your prep either not coming in handy or it not having been enough. Um, in the end so at least here if i if i lose i can know well i just didn't know it i couldn't have you know worked any harder or prepped any harder um and gotten across the finish line um so that's kind of a nice uh load off my shoulders i guess um but yeah this should be fun we'll just see how how far i go and uh, you know another sort of new format here and uh, i haven't played against kevin that much i've seen him you know in a, a few like classics and stuff like that but um you know, good luck to him, and uh, let's have a good match. Hi, uh, hi, um, hi. My name is Kevin Frickens Um This is actually my first time doing something like the, uh, this. I, I, of course, especially this is my first time in this league. I've done some few uh, Formula Classic, I just won uh, feature presentation, the uh, FTP, and um, I've been. Uh, time movie trivia. Uh, I do Team Geek there, and I'm excited for this. Uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to face Scott Harvey. Scott Harvey. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure he's good. Like, like if, uh, it's I might have seen some of his matches. matches. Uh, this I'm pretty nervous, but I'm pretty sure I'm confident. I'm I'm going to be doomed in this tournament. And like I always say, I, I love the personalities that is able to be expressed in those. I don't like to call them promos, just little introductions, but uh, that was a lot of fun. So as you, if you saw the Total Recall Championship, you notice that the format has changed. So rounds one and two are going to carry over from there, but round three is actually going to be brand new, and I'll talk about it um, once we get to that point. But round one time. All right, so round one is it's between two. Six questions, and I'm going to give you two options, and you'll pick between the two. And whiteboard base. So, you ready, gentlemen? Yep. Yes. What year saw the release of Raiders of the Lost Ark? Was it 1980 or 1981? I think the fun thing with... Uh, release dates is everyone not everyone obviously but the common theme within the community is uh one year off the brooklyn sandwich so you know technically if you're one year off it's because you just picked the wrong option five four three two one scott what do you got i feel like i should be more confident in this but i said 81 and kevin i also said 81 and that is correct so one one tie looking pretty good if you want to end it right there and we can just sit, figure out you know how we're going to move on to the second round we'll go from there <laughs> now nah, i guess i guess i guess we'll answer more questions your question your second question which body part did leonardo DiCaprio have in a cast in the departed his hand or his foot Um, the Departed, uh, a movie that I enjoy. You know, small talk is not always fun when I'm by myself. Five, four, oh, three. It, it is really good. Two, one. Kevin, let's see how good. Did you know this one? Uh, and. And Scott. And. 
Another reason why I want to do this between two is because then we could have had the controversy of was it his arm? How far up did his elbow? Did we just his finger? We don't want to get into oh, that. Over, the, yeah. over the, his left hand or his right yeah, hand. Yeah, we just not even get into that. Uh, your third question: Who starred in Demolition Man? Arnie or Sly? Kind of, you know, we're easing into the the set, the next tournament. You know, technically the third on the channel as we uh, redone things, and also the second of the new um, Total Recall, which it's just a branding purpose. So it's technically the third tournament. Five, four. Don't worry. They I wouldn't say they get worse, but a little more, a little more brain teasers later. Three, two, one. Scott. Sylvester Stallone. And Kevin. Sylvester Stallone. See, I like that. I might give you a bonus point because you just wrote Sly. Because that was technically the question. No, I'm just teasing. Uh, <laughs> Stallone <laughs> and Sly both are correct. Uh, your fourth question. Who directed 25th Hour? Spike Lee or Martin Scorsese? A um, couple of fans in New York, I guess. Would that be the common theme of comparing the two directors? I don't know. Let's see if uh, the competitors mix it up. Five, four, three, two... One, Kevin. Spike Lee. And Scott. Spike Lee. I guess they didn't uh, confuse After Hours with 25th Hour. Maybe that was <laughs> the, the trick, the joke. I don't know. There's, it's not funny. Question number five. In which movie will Jack Nicholson commonly be called Mac? Is it Chinatown or One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest? Uh oh, got a potential thinker here. I technically think you might have had to see both movies to have a definitive or confident answer. We'll see how they are in five, four, three, two, and one. Kevin Penn up and Scott. Uh, one flew over the cuckoo's nest. And Kevin. One one flew over the cuckoo's nest. I tried to draw a clock. <laughs> I, I appreciate the artistic abilities there. Uh, and your final question in round one: What is the most common last name of the people in the town in Blazing Saddles? Is it Johnson or Williams? Uh, a, a running joke within the film. Once again, uh, a question that would be considered kind of hard if it wasn't a 50-50 toss-up. Five, which is why I'm confident in writing some interesting, fun ones like this. Three, two, one, and Kevin. Johnson. And Scott. Johnson. Oh, we're tied up going into round two. Mm -hmm. Where, you know, like I said, this one was <laughs> meant to be, you know, a little, little breather little introduction to the the new league the new tournament so when we go into round two as you guys know is going to be locked in all right gentlemen six questions if you want to lock in lock in hands up you know no shenanigans and if you want to hear the multiple choice it'll be worth one and if you lock in it'll be worth two question number one how many actual puppies were birthed by perdita in 101 dalmatians and this works for both the animated or live action. So, do either of you want to lock in? No. Don't have to do a countdown if you don't want to lock in. So, both worth one point. Is it A, 101, B, 99, C, 15, or D, 11? Man, they were like... Hmm, after round one, we might we might go perfect and then go to a tug of war and then be asking questions all night. Five, four, three, two, one. Scott, what'd you get? I wish they had said something about this in Cruella, but uh, 99, I said. And Kevin? 99. It was 15. 15. Oh. That's, that's why I made sure I emphasized birth by Perdita, because the other... I don't know exactly the math number, but they were found. They were Corella had already stolen ah. them. So, question number two: Who plays Nicolas Cage's brother in Lord of War? Uh oh. Man, they really were thinking it was sweet after round one. Nah. <laughs> oh. 
Do either of you want to yeah, lock think... in? No, I think I'll do it on multiple. Kevin, do you want to lock I'll in or you want to hear him? I'll go and go multiple as well. All right, for one point. Is it A, Jared Leto, B, Heath Ledger, C, Colin Farrell, or D, Viggo Mortensen? Interesting set of actors. Five, four, three, two, and one. Kevin, for one point. Colin Farrell. And Scott. I said A, Jared Leto. It is Jared Leto. <sighs> he uh, was a coked out um, baby brother. Question three. Crimson Tide is named so based off of what U.S. state? Gosh. I'm locked in. Uh-oh, we got our first locked in of the match. Kevin, are you going to match them, or are you going to hear the multiple choice options? I want to hear the multiple choice options. All right, Scott's going to be in, um, have some integrity over there while I read these out. Is it A, Florida, B, California, C, Indiana, or D, Alabama? We all know Scott's a pretty uh, honest man over there, so we're only watching him with 99% Hawkeyes. Not looking at you, Jeremy Renner. Five, four, three, two, one. And for two points from Scott. As a diehard Tennessee fan, it breaks my heart to mention this state at all, Alabama. Roll Tide. And Kevin, for one point. Indiana. Oof. It is, it's, it's me writing it as an Indiana native, but the answer is Alabama, and it is Roll Tide. Uh, no, it's not. It's never Roll Tide. It's always Roll Tide, baby. Question number four. The character, Henry, is a professor of what subject in Wet Hot American Summer? Can you read the question? Okay. The character Henry is a professor of what subject in Wet Hot American Summer? And there's no formalities over here, and there will be trivia, so you can either ask for a repeat, like that in that situation where you actually need to hear it, or in the future, if you need a time extension, we'll extend your time. And my general rule is don't abuse it, and I'll let you use it. Anyone locking in? No. All right. For one point, is it A, calculus, B, literature, C, astrophysics, or D, business? As someone named Henry, I don't know if I would profess any of these subjects. So if anyone watches this match later and wants to take a guess of what you think I look like I would profess, other than assholeism, if that's uh, the class, five, four, three, two, one. Kevin. Uh, literature. And Scott. I said C, astrophysics. He was like, it sticks out like a sore thumb, and it does for a reason. That is the correct answer. I also, technically, I had written down in the document I would have just accepted physics or astrology just because it's not meant to trick you up. It's just meant to be interesting. And, you know, anytime I write a question with the name Henry, why not? Question number five. What baseball term is Mackay Pfeiffer's character named after in Spike Lee's Clockers? So always, you know, in theory, no no blank board. So if this was not a multiple choice option here, I, I word the questions. At least you could throw out a guess. Baseball term. No locking ins. All right. So for one point, is it A, strike, B, home run, C, dugout, or D, lefty? Interesting uh, options there. I don't know what I would be called if I if I had the option. Five, four, three, two, one. Scott, if you had to pick one of these nicknames for trivia, which one it be, and then what is your answer? Um, lefty because I do do a lot of things left-handed. Uh, dugout. And Kevin, what w what would your nickname be, and what's your answer? Uh, probably home run because I'll be heading heading home. <laughs> and what's your uh, answer? Max Lefty. 
Uh, the answer is strike. Strike. Oh. I, I had to really stretch it in there to consider that a baseball term. I, as I was watching the movie, I'm like, I gotta go a baseball question with this when I eventually write it. Your final question in uh, round two. In what movie will you see supporting performances by Julianne Moore, Chiatel Ejiofor, Michael Caine, and Charlie Hunnam? I love those looks. Scott is like, I might know it, but I don't know. And Kevin's like, I should know it, but I don't know. Are either of you going to lock in? No, give me the multiple. No. All right, for one point. Is it A, Crimson Peak, B, Triple Frontier, C, Children of Men, or D, Cold Mountain? I love, this is something that players are going to have to tr- attempt to avoid in the future. When you hear the multiple choice, a lot of people's instinct is to go, ah, when they hear the one that they want to know. You, you gotta have to always wait. Yep. Yeah. And I can't can wait we, for someone to finally blow can that. Can you repeat the question? The entire question? Uh, yeah, just the entire question. Okay. In what movie will you see supporting performances by Julianne Moore, Chiatel Ejiofor, Michael Caine, and Charlie Hunnam? Is it Crimson Peak, Triple Frontier, Children of Men, or Cold Mountain? Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, pen up. Uh, Kevin, what'd you get? Uh, Triple Frontier. And Scott. I said it's Children of Men. It is Children of Men. Oh, crap. All right, so going into uh, round three, Scott is up 11 to 6. Which means we are going to go into round three. And in round three, I've decided I'm going to bring back the IMDb round full time. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to get op- three questions or IMDb-based you know, knowledge worth one point, two point, and three points. So round one and two were all whiteboard based. This one is finally going to split up and you're going to get your own questions and get your own opportunity for your own points. And the one pointer, you're going to get the year and the genre, which you'll get for all three, but you'll get a plot summary and you have to name the movie. Your two pointer, you're going to get the year and the genre and you'll choose either the top build actor based on IMDb or the director, name the movie. And the three-pointer, you're going to get the year and the genre, and you'll get three keywords. Name the movie. And just a heads up, for the genres, I'm always going to be a little... I'm going to use discretion when it comes to the genres. So generally speaking, if you know comedy is you know sometimes just used as comedy, if it's a comedy something else that's important because comedy is so general or action or whatever, I, I might throw a little extra in there just because it's not meant to trick you up. It's actually meant to help. So with that said... Scott, you're in the lead. There's two sets. Do you want the good batch or the bad batch? Um, let's go with uh, the bad batch, which, in addition to being a TV show, is also a very weird movie. Uh, <laughs> all, all right, so starring Keanu uh, Reeves. Yeah, you ain't lying. Netflix, right? Uh, Kevin, so you're gonna get sure. the good batch, and right. you are down five. So you're gonna, at the bare minimum, have to hit your three and two to at least you know tie it up so no pressure but also let's see what you got all right right. so for one point which technically you don't need but it'll help your year is 2002 and your genres are crime drama and your plot summary a true story of a young man who before his 19th birthday successfully conned millions of dollars worth of checks as a pilot lawyer and doctor Catch me if you can. You're trying to catch Scott, and that one point is definitely going to help. All right, so now we're in a position where you have to hit both of these. So, but if you if once you do, not if once you do, you'll have a lead. So, your two pointer. Your year is 2017, and your genres are mystery drama. Would you like the top build actor, or would you like the director? 
Uh, topo Doctor, please. All right. 2017 mystery drama, top build actor. That's important to remember. Ethan Hawke. Uh, could you repeat again? Yeah. Do you do you want to hear it, or do you just need a little more time? Uh, I think I want to hear it again. Okay. 2017 mystery drama. Ethan Hawke. Five. Four. Three. Two. Do you need a time extension? Uh, predestination. Moving on to the second round, Scott Harvey. We were looking for first reformed. First uh. reformed. All right, so uh, you know that was a lot of fun. You know, new 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 format. IMDb is back. Uh, I'll talk to Kevin first, real quick, just because you actually got to experience the IMDb round. Uh, you said you were nervous going into this. Did the did the nerves play a factor, or is it still one of those things, especially given it's a no prep tournament, that you know it just didn't go your way today, or is it something that you know with time that it'll you'll be able to build upon? I think I think it was, it was no prep tournament, and um, I like the format when I was like it kind of new. I'm really new too. Um, Especially, especially the IMDb one was kind of a difficult one, and um, the especially round two kind of just uh, cost me a big one because like, God, because like, uh, especially the last question, I'm like, I'm like, it, that's the casting's familiar, I'm like, I'm like it's so I went with so when I went with, with multiple choice, I'm like thinking, it's a triple frontier or children of men, so I went with like, oh, sorry, I had to go quickly, so I went with triple frontier, I'm like, ah. Yeah, that'll happen, and that's that's ironic because that's actually you know the round one concept of it. it's between two. Uh, Ke- or Scott, uh, you know you've played in various leagues at this point uh, over at Warzone, Multiplex, you know, um, Full Metal, and you know maybe I don't know if you've played much um, feature presentation, but anyway, I know you have a lot of experience with different formats, and like you said in your uh, little introduction, uh, a lot of prep. That's you know bogged you down did you have some fun doing this a and b you know was the concept of no prep did it live up to its reputation or is it still something that you're like man even without prep sometimes the questions can be pretty hard no i mean yeah def- definitely a little bit of both i mean i i, I like the the no prep aspect of it for sure and it, it definitely again it's it, it was nice to do this after a run of matches where i've had to you know put some prep in um so, so that aspect of it was fun, and yeah, no, I, I like the the different rounds. The IMDb round is is something that um, I like, and you know, it's been brought back sort of in a, in a format in uh, opening night trivia as well. And um, I, I like that uh, round, even though I didn't get to answer um, <laughs> the the questions this time, um, which is fine. Hey, I mean, if I if I never have to, I guess that's a good sign. But um, right. but no, it, it, yeah, this this was good. I, uh, and I look forward to uh, playing the next one. Absolutely. So with that said, uh, if you made it this far in the video, go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel. This is on the main uh, channel of There Will Be Movies, which is my main channel for edited content. And if you made it this far in the video and you're not familiar, go ahead and check out my There Will Be Movies live channel where we'll be posting all of our live content. So I just want to thank you very much to uh, Scott and Kevin for taking the chance on me um, on my redemption tour and, you know, just having some fun over here on There Will Be Trivia. So this is the Total Recall 2 tournament. Technically, that there will be trivia three. So, if you guys made it this far in the video, you guys probably know that already. But Henry Confidential, Scott, Kevin, we're out. <laughs>